everybody Sheila has asked me to uh, prepare a little something about p8 and I thought the best way to do that would be to just go through and show you how I do my p8 first of all you get the nerd sends you the message on uh, Monday morning this is it you want to open it up you want to look at it to make sure it actually looks okay and it looks fine so I use Gmail. I know many of you use some other things, but the principles here are all the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to forward this to the people on your P8 list. I've clicked forward, but this doesn't really give me what I want to do. So in Gmail, I actually go out here and I want to change the subject line. You see how this subject line has this FWD? You want to get rid of that. I'll explain that in a little bit why that is and you want to get rid of any extemporaneous leftover from Sheila's forwarding because we don't want everybody emailing Sheila all the time that's what you're here for is to get these questions asked of you so you take that stuff out that leaves you with just the message and of course I have my signature turned on and I always recommend to put in just a little quick message you don't want to go out and talk about hours and hours and hours and the message is actually in there, but it's important to say hi to your folks. And we go up in our recipients you want to make sure you always use BCC blind carbon copy uh, that protects all your people's uh, your ministry leaders and everybody you're sending things to this protects their privacy you don't display their email address all over the internet for everybody to see but the first person you send to you send it to John Eklund CR John Eklund you send it to your team lead mine happens to be Teresa and this is what's important for at least us in the Northeast. You always want to send it to P8 NERF because that's where I look and I keep track of things and I count whether you get credit for sending your P8 out or not. And of course, then you want to add your folks that you're going to be getting emailing. And you want to always use BCC for them. It's all loaded up. Everything's BCC, and I'm just going to go out now, and I'm going off to send it. That's, that's your P8. That's your requirement as being a state rep. As you can see, it does not take very long at all. It just took a couple of minutes. I, I was talking all the way through it, so it really doesn't even take that much time. So we want to go back in here to my inbox. And I see that I've got some people that had some problems. I need to update their email list. But here's what I really wanted to see. I got my success back that I've sent my P8 message. And the reason you want to do, you want to go out and make sure you change that subject line. As you can see, a lot of folks here, this FWD, see, that's a problem because you get a thing that's called a spam count. And a spam meter, some people call it. And it, some emails will receive that if they receive things with FW or FWD or, or worse with the two of them. Sometimes I see them with two. FWD colon FWD colon they'll get sent right to people's spam and uh, or junk mail folder and they'll never see it so I hope that's that and I hope that was easy for you guys and I hope you don't have any too many questions about that it's part of our requirements and we have to do it every week thanks